The friendly little rivalry on the diamond is back for its fourth straight year this year, but don't worry, it's all for a good cause. We're talking about the annual Guns and Hoses St. Clair Shores Police vs. Fire Department Charity Softball Classic. And joining me now this morning to talk about it, Chief George Morehouse and Chief Todd Woodcox. Thanks for being here. Thanks for getting up early. You just had to get up super early. I mean, thanks for having us here. Normal. Appreciate Thank it. You. <laughs> it was just like a normal day for us. Yeah, take us. This is the fourth straight year, and we're talking about a good, benefiting game. Talk a little bit about it. Well, we, it's a good rivalry for starters, and it's good camaraderie between the two departments. But we also have we benefit charities. The fire service we 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 sponsor the Great Lakes Burn Camp, where children, unfortunately, who have suffered burns, they get to go to a camp for a week, and they get to be with their with their friends, and no one's staring staring at them, and they they can act like normal children, and it's it's really a good benefit. You guys send a number of kids every year with the money that you guys raise, so it's really important for you guys, considering being the fire department. But you guys go up against the police. And, and, you know, you're sitting right beside the, you know, your, your counterpart here, but uh, it's, it's a bit of a, there's some tension here, and I, I sense that the tension builds over the, uh, over the week. Why is that, Chief Woodcock? Well, Talk there, about the there's, tension. There, there's no tension. It's just good-natured ribbing. But <laughs> if you want tension, I mean, it's, it, this is TV. We can give you tension. But, <laughs> right? No, it's just good-natured ribbing. We get along with, uh, with their group great, but it's just, it's fun to tease each other. And you guys actually benefit another group as well, the Women's Civic League. Is that right? That's correct. The Women's Civic League, they're the ones that actually put all the legwork behind getting this event going and since this event has started they've given out over four thousand dollars worth of scholarships well wow, and i was there last year great turnout by not only the firefighters and the police we won't talk about who won because it's a sore subject no we can eyes. talk about that all okay, right so wanna, who won who won last year last it? three years we've won and uh i think we're gonna win again because i'm on the team i'll be playing with the uh police department um, we can't talk about the competition, but there's someone from Fox 2 playing with the fire department. So if that tells you anything, we're going we're to win, Chief Woodcock. Absolutely. So, I mean, Absolutely. And, <laughs> and so we want to take a look at the information on your screen as to how you can participate, especially when it comes to the Great Lakes Burn Camp and the Women's Civic League of St. Clair Shores, because you might want to help them out as well. Take a look at that information there for you. It is Saturday, August 6th. It is at the Kyle Monroe Park in St. Clair Shores. It starts at 5 o'clock. The first pitch is at 7.30. I invite you guys to come out. I was there last year uh, cheering on some friends that, uh, that work on the police department. It's the St. Clair Shores Police Department versus the Fire Department. Come on out. And you know what? Um, what's that? And we'll have more uh, information on our website, WXYZ.com. Jen?